I was a student naval aviator at, then at uh, Softly Field, and uh, I had never, frankly, I'd never, I'm from Indiana, and I had never heard of the Blue Angels when I first got into flight training. And all of a sudden, I was in a cockpit of a T-34 circling around uh, doing some landing practices at Softly, and I saw the Blues arrive back from winter training uh, that year. And, uh, and then I began to realize what they were and what they were doing, and I, I became totally uh, interested in one day uh, at least trying to, to have the opportunity to fly with the Blues. I, I could not believe what they were doing. In 1973, when I first joined the team, uh, the slot pilot put me in the back seat and uh, we took off in a two-plane formation uh, with the lead, of course, in the lead and, and uh, the slot pilot on the right wing. Um, when just after takeoff, and, the, and they got into the position that they would normally fly. I couldn't believe it. For in the back seat, if I could have reached through the canopy, I could have grabbed hold of the wingtip of the lead airplane, and, and that just blew me away. I couldn't imagine, you know, how you could be that close to another airplane at the speeds and the G's that that, that they fly. Uh, and when you're flying an airplane like the Blues do, the airplane becomes an extension of your body and your mind. And then each airplane interacts with the other. The aerodynamic loop of each airplane, the wingtip vortices, rub up against the other airplanes. And, and you can feel it as you get closer and closer and closer. You can feel the interaction between the airplanes. We, the wingmen, push around the lead airplane all the time, control the rate of roll. Uh, and and, and he's, the boss is just trying to modulate the rate of roll to keep it consistent. Uh, it, it, so, you know, it, it becomes, uh, I guess in, in maybe uh, sort of a spiritual experience, but it's far more when you see six people, six airplanes doing a, a delta loop or a delta roll. It's far more than just a loop and a roll. It's 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 just amazing, it, and it just it it does things. It invokes feelings in people about being able to do things they never thought possible. And, and, and the blues, you know, get accustomed to it. We talked earlier about compl complacency and just don't think anything about it. It's just normal for them. And the, I think the biggest, most important advice I could give to any potential member of the team or the current team members would be that to be really introspective about this and think about it. But if you're not having fun in this position in life with the Blue Angels, then something is terribly wrong. So you need to realize that it's not okay to be not having fun when you're in a position like this. Because if, if you're really not, if you're really taking everything so seriously and not enjoying what you're doing, then you're really doing a disservice to yourself as well as to the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, and Naval Aviation. So yeah, they ought to be having fun.